The average startup spends a low five-figure amount on creating the logo, reserving name and trademark rights, and buying domains. That's a lot of money. That's the biggest mistake you can make and you're putting your young company at risk without you even realizing it. I'll show you a better way how to approach the visual side of your brand in the beginning and how to avoid costly mistakes. Let's go! Welcome to the brand new show where I'll show you how to create an awesome digital brand that people will love without overwhelming your marketing department with all the things you supposedly have to do. Let's be honest here. Would you ever buy something just because it has a cool logo? You would not. When you buy branded stuff, you buy what the brand stands for and not how much they paid for their logo and branding. Yet when logos don't matter that much, why is it then that a lot of us, as soon as we have a rough idea of a future business, start with coming up with names and logos and waste time and a lot of money? Honestly, I don't know. Here's how it usually went for me for the longest time of my career. And if you find some resemblance to yourself, I'll give you a way to improve in just a couple of seconds. First, I'd be starting with a brilliant idea for a product or company. Then, obviously, I have to name this baby. A name defines a company. It has to be something primal. Something that you can scream out during intercourse. I'd be debating with my co-founders and friends what logo to take and how to spend an irresponsible amount of money on the design and name related stuff. Then I'd be coming up with a color template, setting up the website and maybe even buy a cool domain name from some sleazy guy. Then this semi-successful launch or even no launch at all because the idea wasn't that interesting to me anymore. Does this sound familiar to you? Oh my god, you don't know me at all! The problem is, during all this time of working on the brand, I forgot something. Building the business. I forgot to validate the idea with potential customers. I forgot to define the target audience and narrow it down with every iteration. I forgot to hone in on my value proposition. And I forgot so much more. Then I realized one thing that I'm pretty sure can help you as well. Stay calm and don't interrupt because you'll be dead within two minutes unless you do exactly what I tell you. We do not have to name our baby right away and give it a home with our stylish website. We do not have to hire an expensive designer the moment we conceive of an idea. It's just wasteful and stupid. It stops us from making actual progress. Putting too much emphasis on how our business looks keeps us from refining what our business does. We think we're doing something productive by creating a brand design, but we're forgetting what a brand actually is. A brand is a feeling created in the minds of our audience and customers. It is what our company stands for. Oh, I see. When I say Greenpeace or Shell Oil, two very distinct images pop into your head, none of which include a logo. Then again, when I say Nike, Probably the first thing that comes to mind is the swoosh, but also that it's the company for athletes. Do you think any of these companies started with a logo or brand name? Is this a trick question? They started with an idea like make better shoes for track athletes or save the environment and then they developed their products first. Especially Nike only chose the name because they had to come up with something for their company filing. Now, this is important. Especially at the beginning. It makes no sense to give our creation a name that's going to last. What we come up with at the beginning may not even be the best name once we know what we're actually going to do. If we haven't talked to even a single potential customer, haven't made some kind of business model, haven't clearly defined our audience, basically if we haven't done any meaningful and impactful work, Choosing a name and logo should not be on the top of our priority list. So, what should we do instead? I don't know. That's a good question. First, if you're only just starting out, name your project some stupid name that you know you will not keep. Name it marketing project, name it freelancing project, name it Coca-Cola, whatever you name it. Just remember, at this stage, your name and logo do not matter. Second, focus on what matters more, validating your business idea. Ask yourself these couple of questions. Who is my audience? What makes my idea unique? Is there a market for my idea? Are people willing to buy what I sell? How large is the audience? How much can I charge? What's my business plan? Just get to work and do something productive that will result in a positive return on invest for your young business idea first, instead of wasting weeks on something as meaningless as a name. Our customers will buy our products or consume our content because it has a high quality and not marvel at our genius brand name, even though we all like to pretend people buy what we sell because of how cool we are. Are you sure? Oh, yes, I'm sure. 
First, keep that fun stuff for later when you've made actual progress. Knowing that you have something fun to look forward to keeps you motivated during the tough times of starting a business and it saves you a lot of money should you change course or decide to not pursue this idea after all. Which happens to all of us. Eventually, you will want to have a professional looking business. Eventually, you will want to instill confidence in your potential customers and the brand visuals are a big part of that. Right now, I'm talking about the first couple of months of your business life, which is when that vanity business stuff keeps you from being the success you deserve to be. I have learned my lesson by blowing several thousands of monies on something that never saw the light of day. So learn from me and don't repeat the same mistake I made because you are smarter than me. You know now how to avoid the one mistake everybody makes in logo design. Wasting time and money too early. While we're at it, let me know down in the comments how much money you have wasted on logos and names so we can all feel good about ourselves because we are all in the same club and we can laugh about it. If you like this first video of the brand new show, check out this video where I'll show you why it's better to sell a story instead of the features of your product. Have a great day and continue to be awesome. See ya! So long.